Does any of this sound familiar? All of the back and forth needed between UI designers, product managers, UX writers, other engineers, and anyone else that might have a stake in the process. There has got to be a better way. Wouldn't it be amazing if somehow anyone could see a preview of the project without needing to set up a dev server and deploy the application? And what if they could even see all of the CSS properties and move things around, make adjustments, and see how things might look with different settings? But that would require them to have a full web dev environment set up on their machine, right? Not if you're using Codux. And Codux is the sponsor of today's video. Not that long ago, I posted an introduction to Codux, a visual way to create React applications. It's literally a visual IDE. I'm back now to show you a brand new feature of Codux, the ability to share your project with anyone in the world. They don't even have to have Codux installed. You'll just give them a link and they'll be able to see the project right from their browser. No need to install Node.js, no IDE, nothing, just a browser. Let's take a look. I have a React project open here in Codux. And if you don't have Codux installed yet, it's completely free. There's a link in the description. The first thing that we'll need to do is make sure that we have a GitHub repository created and that this project is synced with GitHub. So I'm going to click Sync, Publish Project, and then we'll continue. And we need to make sure that this is a public repo and then create. And now I'm ready to share this with others on my team. So for that, I can just go up here to share. And then we're going to get this disclaimer that we need to agree to. And this is letting us know that whatever's in this repo is technically available to anyone with the link. So as always, a standard practice, we need to make sure that we don't include anything sensitive in our GitHub repos. So I'll click agree. So I'll just name this uh, Codux link and then create the link. So what this is doing is actually pulling everything from your GitHub repo. And so because of this, uh, private GitHub repos or local Git repos will not work. And now I can share this link with anyone that I want to. So I'm going to open this in my browser. So now I can see this project right here in my browser with no dependencies. I can see all of the boards. I can open up one of the boards and see all of the CSS properties of any of these components. I can even change the properties and see what the changes might look like. This would have eliminated all of the back and forth communications that we saw at the beginning of the video. The UI designer could have moved the button up 10 pixels or changed the border radius and then send us their final requested changes. The product manager could have updated the text of the button until she liked it and then sent us her final requested changes. The UX writer could have updated the product description to see in real time what it would look like and then send us their final requested changes. Literally anyone with the link could see our work in real time to give us feedback, like a product engineer who needs to validate new features before they are deployed. That would have been a much better experience for all parties involved. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that any changes made to the project here in the browser will not persist. Currently, the project cannot be saved or synced with GitHub from the browser. Now, this is just the first iteration of this feature from Codux. I'm sure full functionality in the browser is their ultimate goal. If you haven't given Codux a try yet, I highly recommend that you do. It makes visually creating React applications a breeze. It's especially helpful for teams and agencies where there is a lot of back and forth between engineering, design, writers, product managers, and others. Codux can make your team more efficient. Go check it out and let me know what you think.